For this problem, we have D and E are sets of real numbers and they're defined as follows. We need to write the union and the upside down using interval notation. And when we write things like this, it's a pretty good kind of rule of thumb that when we have the union like this, it means or. And then when we have the upside down part right here, it means and. Those are very important to remember. And now we can solve this problem. So when we first start off, what we want to do is make a number line. So it's going to look something just like this. And we can start graphing our things. So for D, we're going to represent it in red. X has to be less than 2. So we're going to find 2 on our number line. And since this is just um, a kind of angle like this, and we don't have an equal sign under it, it's going to be an open circle. Now X has to be less than 2. So that means X is going to be this way. Now let's look at E. For E, we're representing in blue, X has to be greater than or equal to 6. That means we'll find 6 on our number line. We're going to do a closed circle because it has the less than, or the equal sign, sorry. And then it's going this way because X has to be greater than or equal to our 6. So with that, we can write our ors and ands here. So when we look at this, we see that we're going to have a parenthesis for this one because, well, it's open. And then we're going to have a bracket for this because it's closed. So when we look at the or, that means that as long as it's covered, as long as our number line is covered by this side or this side, it'll be inside of here. But we're not going to include anything that's like a white space right here. So for the answer for this one, what we're going to have is, first off, we're going to need a union between the two sides. And the reason why we need a union, again, is because there's this white space, but we have something being covered over here and here. So to the left, we can see that we're going from negative infinity. And whenever we deal with infinities, we use a parenthesis. And then we are going up to our two, but we're not including it. So we're using a parenthesis here. Now on the right, we are including our six. So we have this six here. And then we're going to infinity. So we have this infinity here. So that's our or. For this and, the and is what covers everything. So for it to be written here with the upside down union, it means that it has to be covered by both this part and this part. And if we had more things, it had to be covered by that as well. So that means that for this, we are going to have nothing, null. We're going to have an empty set here. And that is how we would look at this math problem. And I can't draw this line, but it would be an empty set. So it would look like that.